Greetings, beautiful people. All right, so let me share a crazy ass dream I had last night. And, and here's what's happening too, though. <clears throat> I'm going through a detox, of course, because of a situation that happened where uh, I most likely broke my wrist. But um, I also had a, a completely sleepless night, uh, you know, the night before last night because of, you know, it, it literally when I broke my wrist, I couldn't find a comfortable position to put my arm in because the, the pain was shooting up my arm. And it was like if I was on my back or the side, it didn't matter. It was like it was in a lot of pain. So, uh, you know, and I made a video uh, before as to, um, you know, my broken wrist and why I look at the bright side of everything. So it caused me to do things differently where I'm like literally uh, cleansing and uh, whatever, you know, I'm drinking my distilled water and, and uh, you know, of my living waters as well. And here's what's happening, though. Last night I, I, I had a dream. And the reason why I think my dream was actually that vivid was because, see, I came to an interesting uh, piece of information where you can do sleep fasts, uh, you know, and thank you Zen on that information. When you do sleep fast, you, uh, you know, you, you actually detox your brain. Okay. And um, maybe this is why uh, people have problems remembering their dreams. Maybe they need to like do at least one or two uh, sleep fast just to, you know, get the dirty, uh, water out of your brain and 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 replace it with new one <clears throat> but last night i had an interesting dream okay i was uh i was walking in the in the street i don't know where i was at you know i mean i don't recognize this place um you know i was i know there was a bridge there that was like going over another road and uh what else was it uh, i remember that um i was with my sister and i'm, I'm looking up at the sky we were walking okay and I'm noticing that the sun was very close to the moon. Like they were very close to each other. And and probably I dreamt that because I always look up at the sky and I always wonder about that. Like, you know, why is the sun so close to the moon? Like I would look at in the mid, like let's say it could be like 1 p.m. And I'll watch, you know, like, let's say if it's still around the time where there's always a full moon. The moon is always very close to the sun. So you would start to wonder if the earth was round. How the hell do the people underneath, what do they see? You know what I mean? But whatever, I'm not going to get into round earth, flat earth, but the earth ain't looking too round to me, for, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. But um, here's here's the crazy part, though. Um, it, the, the, in my dream, it was around sunset, okay? And I wanted to take a picture of the moon being that close to the to the sun. But as I was taking the picture, my phone died. And then I was like flipping out. I'm like, all right, let me, you know, I wanted to get a picture, but um, I couldn't find a charge. So I remember I told my sister, let me borrow her phone. Let me do it from her phone. And her phone died. All right. And now I was frustrated in my dream. I was like, fuck, I can't take a picture of this. And I wanted to, you know, at least have this. This is interesting. So I remember I went into, so I don't know, my house, I guess. I didn't look like my house. <laughs> I, it didn't even look like I was in the United States for some reason. I felt like I was in like uh, another country. In my dream, I didn't feel like I was in the United States. It was weird. And, uh, you know, I went to go get my camera. I got my camera. But by the time I came out, you know, in dreams, you can go from one thing to the next and things happen like so quickly. Like it was, uh, you know, sunset, but it, it felt like it was a second that I went to get a camera and I come out and it was already dark. So it was, it was already nighttime. And <clears throat> I went. With this camera that I'm talking to, to take a, uh, uh, you know, a video or a picture, but, you know, it being nighttime, now I, I was, like, looking up and I saw two moons, okay, and the, 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 the man, the moons look so fucking crazy and clear and, and beautiful at the same time, but the dream was very clear, you know what I mean, it felt so real, like, if I was actually there, you know what I mean, and I'm looking at the moons and I'm, and they're big, and it, it one was like, uh, you know, you know how when you look up at the moon, it's like in like a bluish color and the other one was kind of like orangey. You know what I mean? It kind of looked like a little bit of a blood moon. Um, I, for some reason, I couldn't record. I couldn't take a picture with this camera that I'm talking to you on. So uh, I'm, I'm trying to show my sister. I'm like, look at these moons. This is crazy. How's there two moons up there? And she was like. You know, looking up and she's like, wow, that's cool, you know, but she didn't look so interested for some reason. And I'm trying to, I don't remember who I was trying to show. I was trying to show somebody else, but um, it looked like an ordinary thing to them. You know what I mean? Like it was just like nothing. I was like, so I was, you know, it doesn't matter. I've noticed it doesn't matter what you look at in the dream or what you're seeing. It's kind of like how you're feeling. 
it felt magical. It felt, uh, it felt magical, but and it felt real at the same time. It felt, uh, I, I don't know. I was like feeling like it was like amazing. It was like an amazing feeling. I was like, like it was a mystical feeling. I was like, wow, this is amazing. I love what's going on. Look at this. This is crazy, you know. And now I remember I did something where I was trying to get my camera to work. And when I looked up, the moons weren't there anymore. But what I did notice now is that they were uh, aligned with like... It, it, you, you've seen how when you look at the uh, Aurora Borealis that you'll see like a, a green... Uh, like sh like a green cloud um, that's, that, that it's like streaming across the sky. Okay, it was like that, but... It wasn't green. It was actually kind of like a, like a bluish color. And it was actually streaming across the sky. But it was two streaks of that. But in the uh, in the in the dream, the the moons were behind that behind that stream behind that streamy cloud. But they were aligned with those streamy clouds. You know what I mean? I don't know if you get what I'm saying. But the, I saw the two moons, and they were. Behind the the it looked like a like the aurora borealis stream. It looked like that, but they were aligned perfectly with them across the sky. Looked super magical. I'm telling you, it was like amazing. Now, I got up this morning. I wrote my dream down because I'm starting to write my dreams down so that I can remember what I'm dreaming. And um, you know, I noticed that it, it has to happen be, even before you get out of bed. But even like let's say if you can't really remember your dream, just the fact that you have a pe piece of paper and pencil or pen, and you start to write like the dream starts coming to you right away which, which is crazy so i wrote my dream down and uh you know i didn't look into what two moons dream means because uh what i did was as soon as i did that i had to get up quickly and take my son to school which i just took my son to school but i took my camera before i left so i can make this video and share it with you guys but uh yeah if you guys know what this dream may signify you know what i mean that would be cool <coughs> If not, I'm definitely going to look into it myself. Uh, again, I, I learn something new every day. And uh, I wanted to share this uh, this dream that was like, uh, it was it was beautiful. Honestly, I woke up feeling like it was like, a, it was a beautiful dream. All right. So, uh, you know, I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. If, uh, you know, if not, then I'll, I'll be connecting with you guys soon. And, uh, you know, have a, have a beautiful day.